Can't hear you, John. Uh, yeah. yeah, Cal, what, what were you trying to do on the final play there? What, what do you mean, on the final play? Yeah, we, we were three when you were bringing it up and turned the ball over. You mean the one where Olivier had it? Yes. Yeah, that ball was supposed to go to Olivier and then one of the guards, and we kind of didn't get quite open. Um, but um, we were also going to look at um, uh, BJ, who was open, and we passed him up, if you know what I'm saying. If you look at it, it was supposed to go to either BJ. If he's open, throw it. He was open. We didn't, which is okay. We threw it to Olivier. Olivier's boom, catching it, throwing it to somebody, and we got our best three-point shooters out on the corners in the wings. So that's what we were trying to do. Let me, let me just say this, guys. Um, this team, that's the best we finished a game. So I'm like, I can't be that upset. There were things that happened. Um, I got to go back and look at the last call. I mean, was it a jump ball? Was, it, was there body contact? Was there something? when Because this, this game was physical. Uh, to give them two free throws to win the game. I don't know. We'll see it when I watch the tape. Um, but this team fought. Um, you know, B.J. played better. We, t we took open shots. If we didn't make them all, but we took open shots. We flew it up the court. We posted it. We added a little wrinkle or two today for today. We did some things defensively different. We're just trying to see if we can bring some aggressiveness out now. I was going crazy in this game. I was not going to let them hang their head. I had to tell them we're down four baskets. There's five minutes to go. Like, they look like the world ended. What? And so this was a breakthrough that way. Am I happy we lost? No. I want to watch the end of the game and make sure I know exactly what happened. But the plays and the execution that we had, flawless. John Hale, go ahead and call Tucker. Cal, I know you don't like to run plays specifically to set up threes, but Olivier has shown such a, an aptitude for that recently. Is that an, an option to get some more offense going, to, to have him do what you were doing in the yeah, second half well, more often? Well, you don't want him to take. Well, how many do you want him to take? He's 8 for 15 on the season. I'm asking, do you want him to take 10 a game? No. How many did he take today? Four. All right, so maybe he takes one or two more. I mean, Yes. But he's also pretty good where he squares up and gets us shots, and he can do both. But that was good. I mean, you know, he's uh, – um, I've been saying all along, you know, we're not – you saw Davion make some shots, Devin made some shots, BJ made some shots, um, uh, Olivier made shots. And I keep saying most of this is mental for these kids. It's hard. It's hard how we started this season and what the gauntlet was I threw at him. It was hard mentally. This has been hard. And so they let's just hope this was a little bit of a breakthrough. Kyle, go ahead. Michael, will you be after him? Kyle, you've spoken to it a little bit, but not really just in this game. I mean, at 5-13 and 13 now, you have a bunch of guys who've had a lot of opportunity to kind of just punt, you know, to just kind of lay down on this season. And, and for all the agonizing losses, it doesn't seem like you have any guys – or many guys who've done that. How, how significant is it to you? Well, we don't that? we don't have anybody. We don't have anybody. And Kyle, I'm going to say this, and I need everybody to listen and our fans to listen. Ter the medical people. I'm not going to be specific of what's wrong, but he has an injury that he cannot play. So everybody on this team, he cried. I cried because he's out another four weeks. So it's not like anybody doesn't want to play. He was supposed to be our best player. We haven't had him. And now you look at this team, I'm proud that they're fighting. We still make mistakes and we do some stuff. But here's the biggest thing I said to him prior to the game the last two days. If you're not in and looking like this and you look like that, the game is really hard and you're out there by yourself. If you're like this, the game is a little easier because you got a bunch of guys looking after you. There was one point in the first half where we didn't pass the ball, and you probably heard me because I was yelling it loud enough, pass it to anybody, just pass it, pass! We stopped. Well, second half, we went back to moving the ball. Pass the ball. Get it to the next guy. Throw it to a guy who's open. How about this? Create a good shot for your teammate. We did a bunch of that today. Guys, this has been... One of those, 
I told them today, they've worked hard enough and had enough bad things happen to them. They deserve something good to happen. But no one is giving it to you. You got to take it. We got closer today to taking it. Michael, go ahead. Uh, Cal, it seems like on most of the losses this year, uh, in the second half, the team has lost focus, had a lot of turnovers. Uh, what was the difference tonight? It seemed like they were a lot more focused and had a lot of fight in them. Well, because they were playing together. So instead of each guy worrying about how I played, I played so bad, I cannot be engaged with this team. And that's what we do. And then it leads to turnover. I got to get a basket because I have I'm one for seven. So I got to get a basket. So you take a bad shot, you throw a crazy pass, or you're trying to hit a home run because you're playing poorly. Today, they were a team trying to create shots and execution for each other so that we could win. You know, uh, again, we had some breakdowns defensively. We were we there were some guys that. You know, the, the game plan was we broke it off a couple times and they made us pay with layups. And so, you know, but the reality of it is guys were in there fighting, battling, you know, did some good stuff. But they – look, this game of basketball, the key is when I'm not playing well, how do I help the team win? If you want to be a really good player. Or when I'm not playing well, I don't care if we win or lose or what happens. You can't be that guy. And what I'm continuing to say, we're looking for singles and bunts. I don't need home runs. We're not capable of hitting home runs. So let's not. Let's just do all the bunts and great screens and execution and everybody do their thing together. Like I said after the game, hard for me to be mad. I wanted to win the game. I'll look at the stuff down the stretch to see how I feel. But the reality of it is the team fought and they executed and they, they threw daggers today. Finally, guys threw daggers. A couple more go to John Wong and then Tyler. Hey, John, it was just a couple of weeks ago that you said the team was listening, but they weren't hearing. And now the things that you've been emphasizing, you know, the turnovers getting out on the break, it seems like that they're really hearing for the first time. What, what do you attribute that to? And does that give you encouragement for the rest of the year? Yeah, I, I think, again, um, you know, this is uh, us. We're still trying to figure out different things of this team. If you, you probably didn't know, but I changed some stuff up today on how we had spacing on the court, what I did defensively in the half court. You probably didn't notice. But we're trying, trying different things to see what works for this group. And uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm, I'm coaching. I'm fighting. I'm battling. I'm playing every game. We got one game Saturday. I'm not worried about anything else. We got a game Saturday. So my day will be spent watching this, learning from the tape. It's done. Let's get on with the next game. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know who we're playing. I know we got a game Saturday. Tyler, go to you. Last one with Larry. No, I know you mentioned you wanted to go back and look at that last foul that was called. But earlier in the game, you had a long talk with officials. Isaiah gets a tech and has to leave after being fouled out. What were you saying to the guys about what seemed to be a frustrating night with this game? Um, I just told, you know, Isaiah, if he missed a call, you just got to let it go. You can't get a technical in a game like this. And they keep the ball, and all of a sudden, this stuff changed on us. Now, from that point, we had our chances and got the one-point lead. But, you know, we don't want it. It's, it's the same, uh, again, you know, you look at – in a game like up for us and our team, there are game-ending calls that we've seen at Auburn. It's a game-ending call, not a jump ball. It's a foul. So now those game end, they're done. The game ends. That was a game-ending call. I got to watch the tape. I don't know if if it was. You guys could tell me. You probably saw it. If it was a foul, it was the right call. If it wasn't a foul, it was the wrong call. Larry, last one. John, I guess. Looking back, it's kind of a minor thing in some ways, but toward the end, when I saw your team huddle up out there on the court, Devin asked you really got in there and just looked like it took charge. was really kind of almost barking at the gas. Is that a step forward for him? That seems to be the first time I can remember somebody doing that. Yeah, and we've been talking about that, Larry. We've been talking about it. You guys don't even huddle. You're so disappointed in how you are playing, you can't even huddle and talk to each other. Again, 
We got inexperienced guys who have only played for themselves. I've had it before, but I had the summer and the fall. And they figure out at some point in the year we need each other, so I got to stop this, or you're not going to play. I'm not going to put you in the game. And so now they're starting to huddle. They're starting to talk. I mean, how about how we had to finish the half? How about the stuff we're doing? Had to go zone, uh, Davion playing, and then I said, let BJ play point. Are you kidding me? He hadn't played point one time in any practice at any point. And so we ended, and I, I looked, and I said, we're right there. We shot 31% in the first half, and we're down one. I loved it. But I'm still saying the same thing. You know, there, there were points in the game, one or two or three plays, bang, that changed the complexion of the game. And we still got to get that under control. Thanks, guys.